Ladies and gentlemen, he has performed at the Broadway Comedy Club and all over Long Island. Please give a big hand to Dennis Newman! Yeah. 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 All right, governors, huh? Seen a lot of great people in this club, and finally I'm here. Back in the closet, but you know, hey, at least it's something. I can say I performed the same night Vic Devetta did. That's something, right? And it's, uh, it's good to be here on the BBM tour because I'm the skinny guy tonight, just wait. <laughs> anyway, uh, everybody here has smartphones and technology and all that stuff, right? We all use it. How many people here use GPS? How many follow it when we know it's wrong? <laughs> right? You're driving along, you see a destination in front of you, right there, make a left. Okay. It's smart, it's smart technology. Yeah. Same thing, I uh, went to the bathroom, we, get, we rely on it so much. It's in the bathroom, I see this guy finish washing his hands, he goes over to the towel dispenser. <laughs> it was manual. <laughs> but you know, we, the, the more smart the technology gets, the stupider we get. We, we, do it, right? Like the other day, I left my cell phone at my girlfriend's house. She texted me to let me know. Good thing for me, she got so mad I wasn't answering that she drove to my house. Like, you saw the bitch, I've been texting you. But you know, we had the world at the fingertips, and what do we do? Cat videos, Facebook, and porn, right? Now, Facebook, that's funny, because it turned us all into narcissists. What, what do you use Facebook for? To tell everybody everything you did all day long. Waking up, taking a shower, eating breakfast, workflow, 5 p.m., at the gym. But the sad part is apparently nobody has sex. See, because that's what I want to see on Facebook. Look what I'm eating. <laughs> but, you know, outside of that, it's just... Maybe, maybe it's just that I'm getting old. No, no, really. I'm, don't try to make me feel better. But yeah, you know, the signs are there. You ever been driving along in your car, and, and I know some of you will relate to this, and you're just hearing great song after great song from your high school days, oh wow, this is great. And all of a sudden, you're listening to WCBS FM, New York's greatest oldies. <laughs> you know what, I'm just become oldies. As a matter of fact, there's a band called Bowling for Soup, I don't know if any of you know that. They were a song called 1985. That song is 15 years old. So. You know, the other signs are there too. I saw shaving my ears more than my head. And I know a few people here know what that's like. Is it heads? It's okay. But anyway, do we have any Adele fans out there? Adele. No, one. Good thing that most of you are, because I don't get it. I don't know why women like Adele. Like, oh, she's an inspiration to all women. Why? She has three albums from one guy she cannot get over. It only took Alanis Morissette one. And, and listen to the progression of the songs, right? Rolling in the deep, tears are gonna fall. But never mind, I'll find someone like you. Yeah, because that worked so well for you the first time, now try it again. And now she's got the song Hello from the other side. I must have called it down the time. Stop, you're a stalker. Maybe use one of those calls to call Taylor Swift so she can tell you how to shake it off. You know, you want, a, you want an inspiration of women. Whatever happened to like Gloria Gaynor and Aretha Frank Franklin, right? Yeah. Gloria Gaynor, come on now, go. Get out the door. You're not welcome anymore. I'm a woman. I don't need you. <laughs> Rita Franklin, R E S P E C T, take out T C P, re 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 re. What? No idea what that means, but it would not fuck with her. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, but. So, you know, I'm trying to stand in comedy now, but I used to do other things. I used to be a DJ, but that wasn't working out for me. I mean, I threw a great party this one time, right? There were ice losers, strippers, kegs of beer, everybody drunk. It was great. But this woman, she was pissed at me. Apparently, that's not appropriate for a son's bar mitzvah. I want that. I'm Anyway, you know, thank you. That's my time. I just hope you have a lot of good time tonight. Please stick around. There's a lot of great comedians here. Yeah.
One more time is your Mr. Dennis Newman! Yeah.